We are talking about SR De Boer Park, which is in South Denver, uh, a little bit south of DU, uh, running along Harvard Gulch. So SR De Boer, Sacco Rink De Boer, was a Dutch immigrant who arrived uh, in Denver in about 1912. He was a landscape architect, and he is responsible for so many of the things that we all love about this city. He helped with the designs and landscaping at City Park, Cheeseman Park, Washington Park, the Civic Center. He also was one of the early designers of the Denver Botanic Gardens, and he helped make Red Rocks what it is today. He worked for the city of Denver, but he worked up and down the Front Range for communities. In 1925, he was one of the inaugural members of Denver's Zoning Commission and was an advocate of separating uses, keeping industrial uses uh, away from residential, and also of single-family residential housing, both of which very common at the time. Lots of places um, were coming to the same conclusions at the same time in, in the 1920s across the country. Today we look at this legacy of emphasizing single-family housing and de-emphasizing especially apartments. De Boer and others believed that apartments created conditions for overcrowding that were detrimental to people's well-being, especially to children, and so really emphasized the idea of single-family housing, you know, one house on a, on a lot, um, something that Denver is particularly notable for. But what some people see in retrospect is uh, that emphasis really set the conditions for redlining, uh, that is the, the racial segregation of the housing market, um, and subsequent uh, white flight hollowing out of the, the urban core as uh, white families moved to the suburbs. And a number of problems that we've come to see in retrospect were associated with, with that approach to zoning. Not only are issues with affordable housing, but also with urban sprawl are tied up in the emphasis on single family homes. It's not clear, I don't think, that all of these social ills can be laid at the feet of exclusively city planners. This was at uh, the height of um, clan control in Denver's government. We don't find uh, Sacco de Boer uh, on the rolls of the Ku Klux Klan ledgers that we hold here at History Colorado. Um, he was an immigrant, so it's actually highly unlikely that he would have been a member. Some of his fellow Zoning Commission members made some comments uh, where they used phrases like, what's good for the race? That could be interpreted to mean the human race or the white race. Um, they didn't leave it clear. You know, in keeping with the times, it's likely that some, if not many of them, held uh, what we would consider discriminatory views but we don't find anything specifically like that from Sacco de Boer. Um, he raises a great question about uh, when does uh, the good we do get outweighed by some of the consequences, the negative consequences of our actions. 